G'day everyone and welcome to another episode of Bushcraft and Camping Adventures. My name's Craig and today we're down here at Glenbrook. Taking the walk down to Glenbrook Gorge. Taking the walk down to Glenbrook Gorge. That always gets my mouth going when I try and say that. It's meant to be a really gorgeous spot and there's some absolute potential for camping. As I understand it, there's a small sanded beach area and um, I love that kind of thing. So we're here to have a bit of an explore have a bit of a walk and check out the area. It should be a good one. So I hope you enjoy it. I hope I enjoy it. So hold on tight and here we go. So, do you notice something different? I got new shoes. I was so sick of those bricks that were my old shoes. They just, they pushed my feet forward and squished my toes. They were heavy and uncomfortable. So I laid out a couple hundred and uh, they're beautiful shoes. They are Solomon. I'll, uh, I can't quite recall out on the track now the exact make and model. Let me have a check here. Yep, they're a shoe by a company called Solomon. So far, I wore them out on the uh, on the beach trip, and I'm wearing them today. And they're going to get a break in today because there's a lot of walking to do. So hopefully, they help me out because I'm really excited to be walking in comfort right now. It's I'm just walking on a cushion of air. Life is good. New shoes, yay! Oh yeah, I bought a new camo hat, so you can't see that I'm bold anymore. Get it! You can see from the mountains, it's just opened up here, you can see them. We are definitely heading to the bottom of a gorge. When you're out bush, you got to keep an eye on your conditions. Today's been a bit wet. So if you come across some dry wood like this on your walk, take some. Put it in your pocket and keep moving. Keep your eye for kindling, it's wet. So you got to keep an eye for kindling when it's wet. So anything you see that you can take with you, take it with you. Bark's a great source, but again, it's wet. So you're going to have some problems with that. But yeah, always be on the lookout. Here we go, look at this. Perfect. Some dry leaves, some old eucalypt. Perfect. Tell you what, if you're fishing, there's your bait. Look at that. Perfect. We wouldn't have had this had it not rained, so sometimes it pays to sometimes it pays to head off. So we've got a little track here, but we're just gonna take a quick little detour down here. Gorgeous. Look at this, mate. This is what life's all about. Stunning. Continue through this little makeshift track. Now this is 
This is exactly where you're pretty much, you're looking down the whole time. You're barely looking up because this is where the snakes come through. Bushwalking, sometimes he's 80% looking down and, and 20% looking around. I'm going to keep filming this because I think there's a nice little beach up ahead. But again, always looking where you put your feet. These shoes are great. Alright, so we have our first little beach. Very nice. I have to find out the names of these guys, but they literally dance on water. They're walking on top of the water. Oh wow, look what we found. Freaking awesome. What a spot, man. We should have lunch here. How cool is this? Natural shelter. It's a little bit dry. This is cool. This is very cool. Man, if I haven't said it before, I'll say it again. I love living where I live. The places we get to go to. I'm half an hour from home. Half an hour from my house. And I live in suburbia. We're just spoiled. We're absolutely spoiled. And so many people don't even know places like this exist. There's a little spider here. I don't want to destroy its web. Sidestep around it. How good is it? There you go. As if to illustrate. Did you hear that? As if to illustrate how close we are. You could just hear a train coming through. Somewhere. I have no idea where. I don't see nothing. God, I love it. Mate, look at this little catchment. There's all sorts of good stuff in here to eat. Look at the water go. That's not rain. That's those little bugs I showed you. The water walkers. Oh wow, look at this. It's like something out of Alice in freaking Wonderland, man. Look at the cover. I can only assume that when this place floods heavily, that these trees get up. Yep, look, there we go. There's debris there. So this, when it floods, I'm underwater. Look at this, you can see debris in the trees. Wow. Yep, look, it's even flooded recently because all the plants are coming that way. Wow, man, what a spot. How good is it? How good is it? That little, that, that was a little bit special right there. Look at this bit of debris. That's a huge log. So we know when it floods through here, you best not be here. Look at the gorge. You could even say this is gorgeous. I gotta keep exploring up this track. Check this out mate, this is cordage supreme. It's everywhere. Rope this together and that is not breaking.
So the odds of me being able to have a uh, fire for lunch is pretty low at this point because everything's just so damp. I may have some cheats in my fire kit, in my fire kit, but uh, damn, they're gonna have to be super special cheats. And I may have used up the last of them on the beach trip. So we'll see how we go. I don't know what I've got. I do believe this is where we will have our fire if we can get one going. This is really nice. Through here, a lot of natural rocks that I can use for sweets. Whoa, be careful, Zamet. Oh, yeah, look at this. Damn, I should have bought my swimmers. Let's see if I can get out there. Again, always looking down. Sorry dude, I'm going to decimate your web, sorry about that. That's heaven. I'm pretty much in the middle of the river here. That is beautiful. There's a sandbank there. I don't know if it's campable, although right there is. One man only. You'd have to cross that, which is which is deep enough to swim in. That's definitely not a walk. That's a probably a swim across. But could you imagine the view you would have? What an area. So nice. Okay, so this is all I've got in my kit. One piece of paper bark, Malaluka tree. My rod, my ferro rod and my knife. So we're gonna have to make it work from this. If not, I've got a lighter, we'll just light the bundle up. See how we go. Look at this, nature's stash, 
dry tinder, undercover, not going to get the wet. The water runs there, but this is all dry, so I'm using it for my fire. I need a big fire, I just want to cook a bit of lunch and be done with it. And that's going to absolutely do it. So this just goes to show that, no matter how wet it is, you can always find wood that will burn. Admittedly, I got lucky with the Melaleuca in my kit, so that's why you have a kit. Had I not had that, what I would have done is I would have got one of these bigger logs that are dry with a feather stick that down, and I would have used the inner drier wood on the inside. You can see that's a, just where I ripped it, but um, that's the kind of thing you can use. If you're made of a knife, you can just break a, break a, break a log and, uh, and use the naturally feathered material at the end to start your fires. There's always a way. Always away. So I've uh, put a few damp, thicker logs on there so I can place the cooker on top. It's going to create a bit of smoke, which I don't want, but it's going to allow me to put the uh, the cook on. Okay, so we'll be cooking out of this. We'll be cooking two eggs with a bit of cheese and butter. Good old cheesy eggs. Our eggs are done. Now I forgot to bring a uh, fork today, so I just made myself a little, a little serving utensil. Let's go get this done. Yeah, that was nice. I'm laughing because it's like I ate my eggs like 10 minutes ago and I'm actually like, mmm, yummy. Anyway, eggs were nice. So, time to get going now. I gotta uh, get going now. All right, so we're all backpacked up. We're ready to be kiwi fruited or monkey nutted, monkey balls, whatever we call them. It's time to hit the track and go back. Unless I see something amazing on the way back, this will probably be it. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little day trip, little lunch by the river. I did. If you did, then we ticked all our boxes. So thank you very much. I'm off home to my very pregnant wife who uh, is full term now and... We're going to be dad to a daughter soon, so, you know, just in case you're wondering, that's still going on. Very exciting. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate your support. See you next time. Ciao.